Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to bypass factory reset protection on any Android phone. The best part? It's completely free and really easy to do. You know when you reset your phone and it asks for your Google account? Well, with this method, we can bypass that step and gain full access to the phone. I've successfully done this on over 100 Android phones. I'll guide you step by step through the process, so don't worry if you're not a tech expert. Just follow along and soon you'll be able to unlock any Android phone. Okay, so the next step is to use this website to remove the factory reset protection lock from your Android phone. To do this, you'll need to provide three important details. Your phone's exact model, its IMEI number, and a valid email address where you can receive notifications. Now you might be wondering how to find your phone's IMEI number. Well, there are several ways to do this. You can check the back of your phone, the original box it came in, or even your carrier's website. Your account details may also have the IMEI and serial number of your device. If you have a sales receipt or contract, you may find the IMEI and serial number there. If your phone has a removable battery, you can check underneath it for the IMEI or serial number. However, if your phone doesn't have a removable battery, don't try to remove it or you may damage your device. Once you have your phone's IMEI number, you'll need to fill out a simple form on the website with your phone model, IMEI number, and a valid email address. This is where you'll receive a notification when the factory reset protection has been removed. After you submit the form, your request will be processed, and you'll receive an email notification when the factory reset protection removal process is complete. I'll show you an example of what the email should look like by logging into my personal email account. Here's the email I received, saying that the factory reset protection was removed. Let's open it up together. The message confirms that the factory reset protection has been removed, so all you need to do now is restart your phone. Now all you need to do is to restart your phone, and after the restart, the factory reset protection will be bypassed, so you don't have to enter your Gmail account details. If you want, you can now add any other Gmail account to your phone. As you can see, it's very simple to bypass factory reset protection without installing any expensive software or using methods that erase your smartphone's data. And that's a wrap for today, guys. I really hope you found this information helpful. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on our weekly video uploads. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching, guys. Take care and catch you all next time.